All right, we're doing it again. We are knocking off another one of my beauty brands I wanted to try in 2021. And today it's all about Lisa Eldridge. Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. I am so excited to be trying out this brand with you. We have a lot to try, so I'm actually splitting this into two videos. Now, obviously, because you saw the thumbnail, this video, we're gonna be doing everything about the lips. I have two of the new Luxuriously Lucent lip colors. I just checked to make sure that that's what they're called. I also could not resist getting one of the original Velvet form Formula. And then I also have a lip gloss. So we're going to have lots to put on the lips. I am going to try everything on for you. I am very excited to dive into this brand with you. And when I did the order, it was mostly because I saw that she was coming out with liquid blushes. I mean, hello, you guys know I love a good cream or liquid blush moment. I was incredibly excited. So I did purchase a few of the blushes. I have a highlighter, so that will be going into the second video. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to launch these both at the same time or on separate days, but if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, including possibly the other video that will be coming out tomorrow. All right, so let's step right into the Lisa Eldridge experience. I have to say I found that Shopping on the website was very easy. I loved how Lisa shows these colors on several different skin tones. That was incredibly helpful. And I think that that's something that we're all looking for these days. I will say everything was packed very beautifully. I received it relatively quickly, considering that it's of course all coming from the UK and the packaging is so gorgeous. Here is one of the lipstick boxes. Of course, it's got Lisa's beautiful emblem there. Oh, I was so tempted to buy her like branded sweatshirt, but I was like, uh, it's June. <laughs> Don't buy a sweatshirt. But now I'm, I have a little bit of FOMO over not having the sweatshirt. Now we have two of the luxuriously loosened lip colors and we have one of the velvet colors. And again, one of the glosses. So I thought I would start out with the gloss that I got. Uh, when I saw the promo pictures, I was like, yep, I need this color. This is such a beautiful orchid color. This is Delilah. Oh, this one is so pretty. So I thought that I would put this one on for you guys without any lip liner, without a lipstick. I'm not sure that actually either of the other lip colors that I got will really go with this gloss. Maybe we'll try a combo at the end. I don't know, we'll see how I'm feeling, but I think that just to see the true tone of it, we'll go ahead and apply it just to bare naked lips. And of course, of course, <laughs> right before I go to film this video, I get a breakout. So I decided to change it into a beauty mark today and then I just like enhanced a couple of my own little like freckle moments. So we're just going with the like Hollywood glam with a little beauty mark because I was like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna film a lip swatch video and then I'm gonna get a breakout right on my lips. So please excuse that. Uh, I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a little closer and we can play with these colors. All right, I have not touched any of these yet. I have not swatched them even. We're just going straight onto the lips. I wanted my first impressions to be with you guys right here on camera. So we're gonna dive right into Delilah. This is such a beautiful like orchid shade. This doesn't have any scent whatsoever, which I think can be really nice. I don't think that you get quite the I don't know, fun experience if something doesn't have a scent, but obviously not having a scent means that no one is going to not enjoy the scent. This is very, very pretty. They are a bit more sheer. Um, and I mean, I think that that, I'm just looking here, by the way, on the website. I do think that it's pretty true to tone as far as like the lip colors. And I will say, I appreciate that you can tell that the lip swatches on the website are not that weird, like superimposed. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like where it's just like fake. It's just, they sort of like mocked up what it would look like on different skin tones. This is actually applied to each model. And even, I don't know, now as I'm sitting here, I feel like it almost like deepened up a little bit. I'm sure that it didn't, but I feel like this, in the, in the bottle, you might think like, whoa, but I think on the lips, it's very fresh, like very spring, summer. I obviously am not wearing mascara. I'm just realizing that I'm not wearing mascara. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I considered refilming my intro and starting over again, but we're not going there. You guys have seen me without mascara on before. It's not a big deal, but what I was saying was, 
I could definitely see pairing this with a really light eye look. I wanted something pretty like neutral and calm this morning. I will make sure to have all of the makeup that I'm wearing listed down below. I obviously don't have any like blush or highlighter on yet because that's going to be what we're trying in the next video, but I just wanted something very light and fresh. I think that this color works perfectly for that. This formula feels so balmy and hydrating. Like it's thicker, but not in a sticky way. It just definitely has that little bit of like almost like a jelly feeling to it, if that makes sense. Now, Lisa says that this is a gloss and lip care hybrid with ingredients like wild mango kernel butter, acai berry oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E oil. So you definitely have some nourishing ingredients. I think that this is gonna be so ideal for summer when you're looking for something that's like really easy to throw on, something that you could just, you know, toss in your bag, be able to have to just brighten up your face a little bit without being like fussy. Cause this color in a lipstick Obviously you're gonna need a mirror, you're gonna wanna maybe even have like a lip liner on, but with a lip gloss like this, you could just like whip it on and it wouldn't be a big deal. Of course, you could totally enjoy this. Like I have a couple lip liners that are almost the shade and I could see like, ooh, once you have like a nice little tan, add a little bronze glow, and then just like throw this on over something with a bit more pigment, that would be really pretty. So this is definitely gonna be going into my summer bag because I just, I just, I had to have that color, that like orchidy shade. I know uh, my friend Whoopi, we were talking and she was, we were talking on Instagram and she was saying, oh my gosh, that like lilac shade. And I was like, oh, I don't think that that's a blush. I think it's a lip gloss, but I knew I needed it as a lip gloss, but I would love if Lisa brought out a blush this shade. Can you imagine? Oh. Anyway, that's for another video. So I just went and looked up the Fenty Beauty glosses. This is in my top three lip gloss formulas. And this formula, you get 0.3 ounces, so twice as much for $19. So obviously, I mean, Lisa Eldridge is definitely a luxury brand. You're going to get less. Um, I feel like this has a more nourishing feel to it. I really love the Fenty gloss bombs. I think that they have Obviously, like they have that slight pearlescence to them, which I think just really makes the lips look really juicy and full and pretty. And it almost like hides lines a little bit because it's just that like shimmer takes a little bit of that and blurs it a little. It's not like glittery at all. You guys, I mean, I'm talking about a product that pretty much everybody has tried at this point. Whereas this, like if I look closely at this, it does have tiny, tiny, tiny micro flecks in it, but that doesn't show up on the lips at all. It is not quite as juicy looking, but it is very, very healthy looking, if that makes sense. So obviously, again, you're going to pay a little bit more for the Lisa Eldridge uh, cost per ounce because it's very luxury brand. I obviously, with this being my first impressions, off the bat, I'm really enjoying this. I, I could see this being a very nice like gloss formula to have in the winter time, especially when my lips get very very dry so of course i'm going to keep you guys updated so far i enjoy that it's more of like a buttery jelly feel not sticky really liking it so why don't we move on into the luxuriously loosened lipsticks all right i am so excited to try these out because this formula totally sounds like my jam i know when lisa launched her velvet matte lipsticks everybody was losing their mind over them i am not really a a matte lip wearer because i just find that it's not super flattering but everybody's telling me like even if you don't like traditional matte formulas, you're going to like this one, which is why I did pick one of those up and we will be wearing that today, but these sound so wonderful. So Lisa says that these are a semi-sheer coverage lipstick with a satin finish and it delivers with one swipe or you can build the color to create a more radiantly polished look. So yeah, a semi-sheer satin hydrating, that's all me. That is all me in a tube. Well, it's obviously not me in a tube, but it's my preferences in a tube. So I did get two shades. I purchased Rose Official and Dance Card. In all honesty, I could I could not decide. I was like, okay, uh, these all look very beautiful, very wearable. I had to restrain myself at two, and I'm glad that I did. I am really trying to not like go overboard buying multiples of things before I know how much I love the formula. And obviously these lipsticks are not exactly inexpensive. They are $36 and you get 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces in these. I will break that down compared to like some other lipsticks. If you'd like at the end of this video, it's an expensive tube of lipstick. And if you don't know that you're gonna love it, why buy all the shades? 
I just I just couldn't go there but it was very hard for me to pick and let me tell you launch day was kind of crazy I sort of like slept on it luckily I had a subscriber who was like hey did you get everything you wanted and I was like oh no didn't get anything so again thank you Liz so much for like shouting me out and I, uh, I could have missed everything and that would have been sad because this was one of the launches that I was really looking forward to this summer. Also, I have decided that this is my last lipstick purchase of 2021. So hopefully it's a good one. Uh, I just know that I have more than enough lipsticks and lip glosses in my collection. I'll be fine. I can get through the rest of the year. So no more lipsticks for me. So fingers crossed that I love these. Let's find out. So again, I'm just going in on naked lips. I don't have any lip liner on. And this is the Rose Official Shade. Now I probably would wear a lip liner, not even so much for the pigmentation, but because I like to have a really crisp outline to my lips. And as I'm getting older, I'm sort of losing that. So if you have like a semi sheer lip stick on, you don't get that crisp feel on the outer edges, but you could, I mean, you could definitely do without. This shade I think is so pretty. It is a my lips, but blusher. <laughs> Not my lips, but better, but my lips, but blusher. It does have a little bit more rose blushy tint to it, but it's not too pink. There were a couple other more like quote unquote everyday shades. Although to me, I think all of these shades could be everyday, but I was looking for something to me this, and it's not nude at all, but like, I like a more like muted pink tone as my like nude everyday. And especially with the price of these, I wanted to grab colors that would be something that I would grab more often. So Lisa Eldridge describes this as an alluringly classic blue-based light to medium rose pink. So I would I would definitely say that. So this is one swipe, if you will. I mean, it wasn't just like one, obviously, because I wanted to get it cleaned up, but that's without building up too much. I do want to go ahead and add just a bit more. Oh yeah, these build really nicely. Like it still is soft because it is that satin feel. I don't feel like I've got like six inches of lipstick. Oh, by the way, oh. ah, that satisfaction. Gotta love a good magnetic closure, but this lipstick doesn't have like a thick feel to it. I could definitely see this again being like a throw in my purse, have every day. And this would be something I think would go with just about any makeup look. So. I really like this color. I did a good job, a last minute pick. Uh, I was not prepared. <laughs> so I'm glad that I got this one. Now let's go ahead and go into dance card. Okay, I wiped that off as best as I could. I do think I got just like the tiniest bit of staining, which I mean, for a satin lipstick, that's pretty good, but just, just the tiniest amount. Now, if I had to do it again, I'm not sure if this would be the color that I would grab. I, <laughs> I am hopeful. I'm hopeful because this is semi sheer. I find that sometimes corals, if they're too like white based, if you will, it can just look kind of weird on the skin. But of course, every model in the lip swatches looks beautiful. So I do really like a good like corally peach moment. Obviously we can tell from what I'm wearing today that this is sort of my vibe. I'm hoping that I like this one. Uh, <laughs> if nothing else, I think I could like pair it with a nude lip liner and like nude it down a little bit. So fingers crossed, here we go. Okay, top lip is done, no regrets. I think that this is gonna be really fun for summer. Now I will say that the center of my bottom lip is a little dry right now and I am able to see that in the lines a bit more. Again, I think it's just because this is almost more of that like white base, if you will. But this is a good, like a good one coat look. I, I think that this is so pretty. It's again, just very fresh. I know, I think I've said that, but it's sort of my like summer vibe. So. Lisa says that this is a pink peachy coral hue inspired by the lipstick from the late 50s and early 60s in Lisa's vintage makeup collection. One for prom queens everywhere and those in search of a bit of nostalgic charm. And that's it. I mean, I feel like this is sort of like that. Mm, I don't know. I, I think it definitely has that like classic beauty feel to it. I really like it. I'm going to build it up for you guys. I have a feeling this is one that I wouldn't wear built up though, just because again of that like, I don't want to say it's like 
a white base, but it kind of is. Like it has that little bit of lighter base tone to it that I think just starts to emphasize texture. Uh, let's go ahead and try it and we'll see. Yeah, I feel like if my lips were in great condition, I think that I could rock this one. They're not in great condition right now though. So I do see a little bit more like on my bottom lip, but man, that color. And I consider myself like light medium skin tone. I'm tipping a little bit more into medium now that I've been outside doing glamorous things like weeding my garden. Uh, <laughs> but I, I just think that this is so flattering. I'm so glad I got this color. I was a little hesitant, but I really do like it. Even built up like this, it doesn't look horrible. My lips still look juicy. I will be curious to see if I get like the ring of death though, you know, like that little white crusty stuff inside my lip. I hope not, but these are the types of shades that I feel like can do that sometimes. So I'll update you guys on that. I really hope that that doesn't happen. That is the worst. And for a $36 lipstick, I'm hoping that it doesn't do that. We will see, but man, the, the feel of this, if I close my eyes, honestly, right now, I would feel like I just have lip balm on. Like. It is super smooth and creamy. Obviously the fact that it is like more sheer and it's very creamy means you're going to have to reapply more often. This isn't going to be something that you can like pop on, jump out of your car, have your whole entire day and then still look great. Will it wear off? Well, I do think so. I'm not sure about the shade, but like the formula in general, I think will wear well, but you're going to have to reapply if you do want that amount of color. And that's just a trade off for every type of like highly creamy moisturizing lipstick. It's just part of the deal. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go into my very last lipstick, which is the Velvet Beauty. So here is mine right here. I am very excited to have gotten the shade. Again, this was one of those things that I wasn't quite prepared for. On the day of the launch of the new lipsticks, I had known that I wanted to get one and I hadn't really decided. And so I was just like, oh, I can't remember. I watched a few different videos. I know I watched Michelle Midori and there was someone else that I had watched do like swatches. I just couldn't remember and so I just grabbed Velvet Beauty and I was like I think that's the one that I wanted to to get and then I, I honestly can't remember and then I was watching Pretty Psych Beauty and she applied Velvet Beauty and I was like oh yay that one looks beautiful and I think that's the one I bought but I can't remember because of course you know it was like pre-orders for this launch so it was a while ago when I bought them and I could not remember but Velvet Beauty is what it is. I know that the True Velvet formula has been around. You have probably already seen Velvet Beauty on someone but I thought that it might help someone out for me to show it applied and I'm going to pop up some comparison prices. Now both the True Velvet and the Luxuriously Lucent lipsticks are $36 so I'm just going to do a price per ounce comparison with a couple other brands to show you the value. Okay, so here we have Velvet Beauty. I mean, for a matte lipstick, this does feel very creamy. Wow. And the color, the color reminds me a little bit of uh, the ColourPop Lumiere shade that they did in collab with Kathleen Lights. And you guys know that that is one of my favorites. That shade is a, more of like a cream feel, whereas this is obviously a bit more matte, but thank you to everybody who told me that I probably would still like this matte formula because I do think it is almost like a, a powdery matte. It's not like a dry matte. Does that make sense? Like it has that powder finish, that velvet finish, hello. Lisa already came up with the word velvet. <laughs> it's a velvety finish. Uh, I am very happy with the shade. I think that the finish is beautiful. You guys will have to let me know what you think. I do think that for me, it is always more flattering to have something that is has a bit of like luminosity to it. I mean, I think that this color is probably going to have a really good wear time and still give us that beautiful color throughout the day. I could see this having that like, beautiful, slightly stained effect at the end of the day, but to give it a little bit of like shimmer, shine, but to give this a bit of like a juicy lip, I do think I'm gonna try Delilah over the top. I think these will go really beautifully. This will like pump up the color a little bit and we can see the result. So 
So I'm being dangerous and just dabbing it right on from the applicator. I think that uh, just because it is a matte lipstick, it's not like there was a lot of transfer, but even that, and that was like a pretty light application of gloss, but that just kind of like brought it into a little bit more comfort. And it just like makes my lips look a bit more plump, I feel like, just just because it, it helps soften the line a little bit. And I could see for myself, like here, I kept it mostly, like I kept the edges still free of gloss so that that crisp line will stay there and maybe like not wear away as fast, but just where I need it, where it's like, I've got a little dryness going on, that's where I needed the gloss to sort of like help. Now I will say that I feel like the dance card shade in the sheer formula showed the dryness a bit more than even like the true velvet shade in Velvet Beauty. And I think it's honestly like just that like light color, but I think I could definitely pull all three of them off. I did load up that dance card shade just to show you guys. And like I said, that isn't something that I would necessarily normally do, but man, I love lipstick and I am so excited that we are kind of getting back to a phase in the world where we're going to be able to start wearing lipstick more. So I think that this was a great, a great time to have this purchase. I am honestly so excited to have finally taken the chance on Lisa Eldridge. Uh, it was a bit of a splurge for me, but you know, if I'm going out of lipstick land for the rest of the year, this is the way to do it. And of course, I cannot wait to try these. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the video with the blushes and the highlighter. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know if you have tried Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Is there a shade that you love? I would love to know your thoughts. As always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Thank you for sticking around for these first impressions. If there's anything that you want to know my thoughts on in the future, drop it in the comments and I'll see you really soon.